So there you are, staring at the clock, trying to mentally speed it up. It feels like the moment's lasting forever. And you know, some may even say that when you're doing something that you don't want to do, like when you're dreading something, you're doing something that you hate, a chore, that time actually slows down. Well, in this episode, I'm going to show you just how to fix this. Because in fact, it's not time that slows down. It's not time that really changes. But it's our perception of time that changes. Hey, I'll tell you, many people say the world is a messed up place. Well, this is my attempt at fixing it. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another episode of Big Talk. I'm your host here, Aben, and today we're going to be talking about how to make time move faster. So the flow of time, again, never changes, right? It's a constant thing, but our perception of time always changes, given on our alignment of consciousness. What that means is, however I'm feeling inside or, or whatever's floating around in my head, that's going to determine the headspace I'm in, and depending on the headspace I'm in, that's going to determine my perception of time. Now, the natural flow of, of time, right, the, the, the flow of life, we'll call it, is, is the now, right, the present moment, living in the moment, the very second that you're viewing this episode, down, down to the millisecond, not tomorrow, not five minutes from now, but right now at this very moment. That's the natural flow of life. And to not allow ourselves to live in the present moment, to live in the now, right, to deny the now, there's only one way to do it, and that's to, to, to identify with the mind, which is to exist in a place of past basis or, or future basis. And this is all a, a, a problem with identification with the mind. You see, the mind uh, can't really understand past and future, right? right? Be, be, because of how it's designed. Now, if you, if you want to know specifics on this about you know, the now concept and, and, you know, the problem with mind identification, you can check out my episode moving into the now. I go really in debt on this, uh, but for the sake of this episode, we're going to keep it simple. In a nutshell, it says that, you know, the mind is only designed to, to comprehend past and future. Because you see, the past gives you somewhat of an identity, right? And some, some mild form of validation, right? And the future gives you the promise of salvation, right, and the promise of fulfillment, right, in time. Both of these are denial of the now, a denial of the present moment. And when you deny something, right, when you resist what is, the only thing that will come from that is 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 suffering, right? Resistance equals suffering. Because you see, and you can test the experiment, you can do an experiment and test this out for yourself, right? Again, I go in that in this in my episode, the uh, moving into the now, but, you know, you can sit there and try to think of something. And every thought that comes to your head is going to be about past or future. You can never think about the present moment because it doesn't exist in the, in the mind, right? The mind can't comprehend the present moment. Again, when I say present moment, I'm talking about the very, very millisecond that you're viewing this. Your mind just can't go there. So in terms of speeding time up when it's going slow, right, or slowing it down, right, all we have to do is change our inner conversation, our inner thoughts. What I mean by that is turn the mind off, right? Right. Turn those thoughts off. Stop thinking. If you're at work, right, you're at work. You got three hours left on your shift. Stop thinking about how crappy the last shift was. Stop thinking about how, how good the last shift was, right? Stop thinking about what you have to do when you get out of work. And, and, and I got to do this with the kids and I got to leave all that behind, right? Because when you, whatever you're focused on, is going to be the most important thing to you in that present moment. When you let your thoughts run rampant like that, right, you keep thinking about the past and you keep thinking about the future, you're just creating resistance, which is just creating suffering, which is going to make time seem like it's moving slower. And the same thing goes with, you know, if you're trying to, you know, quote unquote, slow time down, right? If you're at a concert and you're enjoying yourself and it seems like time just keeps time, you know, flying and flying and flying, enjoy the present moment. Just live in the moment. If you keep focusing on, you know, oh my God, I only have 10 more minutes, or crap, I only have an hour, or this is going to end in five minutes, then it's going to feel like it ended in 10 seconds. That's just how it's going to go, right? So, so just live in the moment. Turn your thoughts off and live in the moment. All in all, right, in summary, to speed up time or slow down time, all you have to do is, is control your inner dialogue, right? Control your thoughts. And to control your thoughts, you have to control your mind by first disidentifying from it. 
if you do this, you will align with the natural flow of time. And that is the now, the present moment. Anything outside of the present moment is a shadowed reflection of the present moment. It doesn't really exist. So do yourself a favor and live in the now. If this episode was helpful for you, go ahead and leave a like on the video and a comment in the comment section. Let me know, let me know a time when, you know, time went by way too slow or way too fast for you, right? Give me the whole backstory and tell me what you did to fix it. As always, this is Big Talk. Thank you for listening. Many people say the world is a messed up place. Well, this is my attempt at fixing it.